Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another favorites video. These are some of my favorite videos to make, uh, though I'm not super consistent with them. I have been trying to do better. We're going to talk about favorites today. That's it. Now, the exciting news is that some of y'all have been requesting that I bring back my uh, what I read this month videos and I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I think what I would like to start doing is as I break up the favorites by category, I'm going to start including my favorite books um, and if there's any movies, I don't watch a lot of TV or movies, but if there is anything that I watched a documentary or even just a funny movie or whatever, I will share that as well. Hopefully those of y'all who really enjoy the book things will, um, will be glad to see that that's coming back in a different way. Of course, we'll break everything up by the category and I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. My children are playing right outside of my window on the um, swing on the tree. So I apologize if you hear random screaming. Everyone's fine. They're just playing. Let's start with like personal products, beauty, skincare, that sort of thing. Then we'll do, uh, I think I've got some home stuff to share with you, a couple clothing items, and then we'll do books and movies and stuff. So let us begin. The first thing is this lovely deep waver. Uh, this is one of those hair tools that I think can be intimidating. I had one years ago, I think, I'm pretty sure I had one years ago and just couldn't quite figure it out. You can end up putting really weird creases in your hair, but you guys know I love nothing more than big giant hair. I just, anything and everything I can do to make my hair big and floofy, I like to do. I have seen people with very long hair use this type of product before, and I just felt like maybe with short hair it wouldn't work for me or shorter hair. It wouldn't work for me, but the price on this was so, so good that I was like, all right, I'm gonna try it. And if it if it doesn't work out, then I'll just return it because the store I got it from has a really good return policy. So um, I, of course, will link everything down below. But, and I'd never heard of this brand before either. I'm gonna show you something else I got from the brand. However, I'm, my hair is obviously not deep wave today because I'm at a certain place in my hair cycle. I do a thing where I wash my hair, I wear it straight for two days, then I curl it for two days, and then I, there's a fly, or wear a hat or beanie and then wash it on the sixth day. The point is, is that I'm not to my curly day yet, but I will insert some footage here so you can see the result of this. There's a couple of keys to using it and not getting a weird dent, but let me know if you guys want to see, I really hate doing like hair tutorial type videos and stuff because I feel like it's just of interest to so few of you guys. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see it. But this deep waver, I just, I love the kind of very natural, obviously, waves it gives your hair. I'm really pleased with this product and the price point is just, it's just so good, okay? I also, when I was looking at that product, I ended up purchasing a few different things from this brand. And the other thing I purchased was a straight iron because my flat iron, my straight iron, uh, straightening iron, was so in such terrible condition, the cord had been chewed through by pets to the point that it was like dangerous. Um, it was very, I mean, this thing has to be 15, maybe 20 years old, the straightener, I mean, so old and so i was like you know what i would like to have a new one and i can i just say that like i'm so annoyed at myself that i didn't get a new one sooner because the one i had is old so it didn't have the curves on the plates like this one does there that allow you to really like straighten and get that c shape which lets you straighten your hair and still get volume and smoothly kind of pull the straightener over the hair this one oh, it works so well uh, again temperature controlled you can you know change that so that you don't scald your hair it automatically shuts off and i love that it comes with this little thing that i can just put it in like this so that when it's cooling down like as soon as i'm done using it i put it in this and then that way if my kids come in you know reach up on top of the counter they're not going to burn their hands because this flat iron's open um anyways I, I really am impressed with these products and the price point is amazing so let me know if you guys want to see a hair video in the future just with the deep waver. Let me know if you would like to see that. Okay, next up we're going to talk about something that is so exciting to me. Um, today's video is sponsored once again by Beauty Pie. I've worked with them before, but I've been talking to you guys about Beauty Pie for, I don't know, six months, seven, eight months, something like that. My uh, deep and abiding love for Beauty Pie has never diminished. I just am so impressed with nearly every single product I've tried from them, whether it's a makeup product, a skincare. Just so many of the products in my routine come from Beauty Pie and I love them. And if you're not familiar, if you don't remember me talking about them before, they're basically like a luxury beauty and wellness buyers club. You can purchase luxury products without the luxury price tag. 
because they're online, you know, and the way that their business model works, they cut out the middleman, there's no retail markup. So you are able to get these really high quality products for a very affordable price. I'm talking extremely affordable, shockingly affordable. So on top of all the amazing products that they already offered as far as like skincare and beauty and hair care, they have now added a supplement range to their product offerings. First one is called Perfect Daily. This is a daily multivitamin. It is vegan and you basically take two capsules a day and it's got like B vitamins, vitamin C, uh, vitamin A, E, it's got copper, calcium, magnesium. I mean, I could keep going, but it's got a lot of vitamins in it. This is the one that I personally was very, very excited to see. And this is called Like Sun. And it's a vitamin D, a vitamin D3 supplement. The pills are like soft gels, which is great. It makes it a lot easier to take. Um, it's naturally sourced and it's vegan. So it's actually difficult to find a vitamin D that's vegan. A lot on the market are not. So this is a great option. And then of course we have BioMega3, which is their new omega-3 supplement. And if you know anything about DHA, you know that that, that helps contribute to normal brain function, normal vision. And then when they combine it with the EPA, that also helps with overall heart function. And then they also have added a collagen super powder. Collagen, so, so, so good for skin, hair, nails, so good. This powder is, uh, you know, a very kind of light. It's very refreshing. It's not overpowering. Um, it doesn't, it's not like sickeningly sweet. Basically, um, hydrolyzed marine type one collagen peptides. So these are sourced from wild fish and the form that they have in here is bioidentical to human collagen um, and really well researched with proven results. So this is a great option if you're looking to add a collagen powder um, to your daily health regimen, if you will. So with all of that said, if you guys are interested in trying anything from Beauty Pie, you can use my code Angela sent me. I'll have that down below in the description box. And with that code, you can get $10 off a membership. So you can look into that and decide, you know, which tier of membership is best for you. But the annual membership is the one that I have and the one that I feel like uh, functions the best for me and what I need. But I'll have that code down below for you guys. Angela sent me if you want to try anything from Beauty Pie, I would highly recommend as I have for uh, quite a while now. Um, I really, really have been so impressed with uh, all of their range of products. There's so many of my my favorites that um, that are from Beauty Pie. All right, let's move on. Let's keep going. We're about to. I'm about to embarrass myself. I'm gonna show you something that I really screwed up. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's a favorite and you're gonna love it too if you use it correctly and not incorrectly like I did the first time. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of loathe flossing. It's just one of those like time consuming things that by the time I've washed my face and brushed my teeth, I just don't feel like flossing, okay? I just don't. That's where this little beauty comes to the rescue. So I will link this down below. I think you need this. I think your spouse needs this. You could share one. This is a water pick. So, you know, when you go to the dentist and they spray that little thing in your mouth and then they have a little suction, this isn't quite as powerful as the one I think that they use at the dentist office, but that's basically what it is. You can select the mode, normal, soft pulse, you charge it um, and the charge lasts a really, really long time because this you're using it, I don't know, a minute, minute and a half. So here's the trick, okay? The first time I used this, I, I don't know, you know, I have my blonde moments like everybody else. I put water in it, I turned it on, and I was like trying to spray my teeth, and I'm standing in front of the mirror, and water is spraying everywhere. I mean, I am soaked. It's bedtime, but I am soaked, the mirror is soaked, the sink, everything. It's just like spraying water everywhere, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Um, and then I was like, oh, you have to like hold your mouth around it and not spray it with your mouth open. You have to close your mouth around it. And then I also had the smart idea, why not just use it in the shower? So that's what I do. I put this in the shower. It's fantastic because it really just lets you get that water pick in there and sort of floss your teeth. And my hygienist um, told me, she was like, that's fantastic that you're using that. Uh, you know, obviously there's some, some things that perhaps only traditional floss would be able to get, but she did not shame me. And um, my teeth were actually in really great shape. So I didn't have any fillings that were needed. I still have, well, we could talk about the cavity situation later. I think that cavities are a conspiracy. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But anyways, that's not for this video. The point is I didn't need any work done on my teeth. They were in great shape in this water pick, man. Other than my initial blasting myself in the face with it, which was so dumb. Like in hindsight, I'm like, you're a moron. But at the time it just, it happened. Okay, we all have our, our shameful moments. It happened, it is what it is. But you do need one of these. 
I think. I don't tell you need things often. You guys know that. I'll say I like this. You might like it, but I think that this is maybe a need. This might make it to the need list. All right, as far as like clothing items, I did only have a couple things that I wanted to share. I wore this sweater, I've worn this sweater a few times and every time I wear it, I get asked for links for it. And let me just tell you, I hope it's not sold out because it was on sale. Oh, I hope it's not sold out. This is so comfortable. It's sort of like a, you know, kind of slightly slouchy. It's, I mean, mine's a medium. I suppose if I'd gotten in a large, maybe I could have worn it off shoulder. I don't really want to, didn't want to do that. Point is, it's so soft and cozy, this sweater. It's not a crop, like it doesn't show your belly, but it's definitely a shorter sweater, one you might do a front tuck with. It's not a long legging sweater, which I feel like those are kind of out. I don't see them as many places anymore. I feel like all, most sweaters now are back to standard length, like belt line um, or cropped, which is a whole different story. I, I don't mind in some cases, but sometimes I'm like, everything in this store is cropped. <laughs> um, anyways, this thing is insanely soft. Um, I love it. And I love this lilac color. Okay, I'm going to let you guys in on a secret. I have kind of this weird thing that I do. In the fall and uh, early winter, like December, I wear all of my like oranges and tans and all that kind of stuff. And the the one time of year that I wear a lot of like light purple lilacs or something with light pink in it or something like that is like January, February. The winter months, something about those two months, January, February, is usually when I bust out anything I have that has like this very light, soft purple or pink or mint or something like that, that's that's when I wear it. <laughs> and then in the spring, I, I start switching back to like florals and other things. But um, the other thing I'll share that is on a higher price point, but I know a lot of you guys uh, find the investment worth it like I do. So I've shared with you before about my love for my Lululemon Align leggings. I had decided I wanted to try a pair of like their joggers. So I, I guess joggers is what they're called. I don't know. It's kind of like that, that windbreaker material. I don't feel like that's a good descriptor. Maybe I can look up what the actual material is, but uh, you know, I knew that the quality of their leggings, their Align leggings were so good. They've lasted me for so many years that I thought, you know, I just wanted a good pair of like black pants that I could wear when I'm working on projects around the house, outside things come the spring before I'm ready to wear, uh, you know, shorts or something. I'm, who am I kidding? I don't wear shorts, but you know what I mean. Point is, I found these pants um, and I will hopefully insert some footage here so you can see them in action, if you will. And they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. Uh, they are not a super high rise. So like the Lululemon Align legging stuff, I mean, those things come up to underneath your boobs, okay? They are grandma status, high up. I'm holding everything in all the way up to the to the ladies. This particular pair of their pants is more like sits on your hips or like slightly above. I would size up in them. Um, I did, and I think it was because when I was looking at them online, the model was wearing my normal size, and I was like, homegirl is very, very, very thin. Like if those fit her like that, they're not gonna fit me like that. And so I went up a size and I'm so glad I did because if I had gotten my regular size, I don't think I would have liked them because they kind of have a shorter inseam. So I feel like the camel toe would be off the charts if you got them in too small of a size. So trust me when I say, Either like, I mean, maybe if you're just super standard in a size in Lululemon, go for it. But otherwise I would suggest sizing up. That's what I did. And I'm much happier with the fit sizing up, um, but I love them and they're absolutely worth the money. So maybe include them on like a Mother's Day or Valentine's wish list or something. If you, if you're in the market for a pair and want one, not something that again, I'm going to tell you that you need, uh, but something I've really enjoyed and love having. And I'm very glad that I do have. So all right, so in terms of home things, I feel like I just, I have to share once again, if you've seen the videos already, then you know, but I've been working on my Get Your Life Together series and I redid the pantry. I've been working on the kitchen and all that organization. I just have to give a special shout out to uh, the Home Edit line at Walmart. I really have enjoyed those products. Home Edit has a line at Container Store as well. So this is like, you know, I, I suppose they're more affordable line that they made for Walmart but I don't really see a difference in the quality. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. I really enjoyed that. And um, if you watch my kitchen declutter videos, you'll see I linked to some of my favorite 
um, organization stuff that I found. You know, my husband and I always joke around that having the right tools makes projects that we do so much easier. We've spent so many years just trying to like piecemeal things together, you know, figure out how to make something work and, and finagle and, you know, like, oh, we don't really have the right tool for cutting that tile, so we'll use this. And we have just discovered over the years that when you have the right tools, these projects go so much better. So that's something that we've prioritized when we work on things. And I feel like that kind of transcends into your home and organization and how you set things up. When you have this, it, really it's just like infrastructure, right? When you have everything um, set up in a way that it functions really well, it makes it a lot easier to keep things uh, clean and organized. And, uh, you know, I mean, we've all heard that little like trite saying about like, uh, everything has a place and everything in its place. It's kind of true if there's not, and I guess, I mean, this all comes back to the time I read the Marie Kondo book on the plane like 10 years ago. I've been really happy with the organization that um, I've been working on and I'm excited for the future projects that I've got coming up. We're gonna be mixing in a little bit of like home decor stuff into it or like room design because my daughters are begging me to get to their room, which I've been kind of um, putting off. So I think we're gonna do the laundry room next and then we're gonna jump to the girls' room, which will be really fun. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna mention this I really don't like talking about like uh, anything related to like dieting or anything like that because it's just such a sensitive topic that people get really butthurt about really fast. Uh, but a couple years ago, two years ago, I did a video sharing about my uh, sort of journey with intermittent fasting and specifically once I changed uh, to clean fasting, you know, how much better that, that went for me. Well then, to make a very long story short, over the last year, mostly 2021, um, I really, I kind of like slowly quit clean fasting. I was still doing intermittent fasting, but I kind of quit clean fasting. And then with all of the outdoor work and everything we were doing, uh, it just wasn't quite working for me because I was exerting so much um, that I needed more calories and stuff like that. It just wasn't working for me well. And so then I kind of ended up just like not doing it at all. And I had noticed over the last few months that a lot of certain symptoms, certain inflammation type symptoms that I personally experience that intermittent fasting had helped to solve. And so it's been like two years since I had dealt with those things. And so as I started creeping back up, I was like, oh no, oh no. And then I kind of came to the conclusion that I got to go back to clean fasting. So I'm keeping my um, clean fasting window a little shorter than I used to and having my uh, feasting window, as I like to call it, a little longer than I used to because my goal is not weight loss. My goal is just to simply deal with the symptoms that come when I'm not doing intermittent fasting. Um, because if you look into it, there's a lot of health benefits and it's not, um, it doesn't, it doesn't all have to be about um, weight control, up, down, or otherwise. And so for me, this round of doing intermittent fasting isn't about weight control at all. In fact, I don't really weigh myself anymore because uh, I just don't, I just don't care. If my pants don't fit, then I go, all right, lay off the cookies. But otherwise, I just, I just don't care anymore. I, I let that kind of thing control my life for too long and I'm just kind of over it. Um, but... That being said, I'm back to intermittent fasting. And let me just say, after a year of not doing the clean fasting, as in black coffee in the morning, that's the thing. Because I love my coffee with almond milk. And waking up and going straight to black coffee has been a kick in the balls. It's good. I mean, I know it's going to be good overall, but it's a kick in the balls. Also, this is my favorite tumbler that I always drink my liquid IV out of. And I can't have my liquid IV until I'm in my feasting window. So I'm back doing that. I don't know how much I will talk about that or shit, but I can already see a little bit of a difference in the symptoms. So let me know if you guys are interested in talking about that at all. Maybe in my next month's video, I can give you an update because I did uh, take some photos that I think will help to show what I'm talking about when I talk about inflammation. Everybody gets inflammation in different places uh, and it shows up in different ways. Obviously, like I'm not showing you my inflamed bowels in these photos, but there's uh, in particular, I'll just explain, in particular, uh, I get a lot of puffiness under my eyes and I get really dark under my eyes and they get really puffy and I wake up every day looking like I was in a fight the day before. It just 
it's just I, I my face feels swollen and my under eyes feel swollen already seeing a change there and I did take some before pictures just to prove to myself that I wasn't crazy and I can share those with you guys as we move through but let me know if you're interested in that let us move on to books and movies before this video becomes an hour long I only have one movie to share <laughs> this was actually a movie I watched a couple of months ago and I wrote it down because I wanted to share it with you guys and then I forgot about it so I'm bringing it up now even though I watched this movie a while back <clears throat> and this is not a new movie Okay, so please, there's no spoilers uh, in it. So, but you can't claim spoiler, like, oh, you spoiled the movie, if the movie's been out for like five years or more. Um, but the movie's called Men Who Stare at Goats. George Clooney, other actors that are, that you would know, are in this movie. And when I saw the description of it, I was kind of like, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be the kind of movie that I like. I can't really tell where this is going. If you have read, if any of y'all have been around since me talking about Annie Jacobson and her books, if you've read her book, Phenomena, talking about, uh, and she does weave it in some of the other books, but talking about the government's um, experiments with telekinesis and uh, sort of, you know, uh, not psychics, but also people's ability to, to move things and do things with their minds, this is kind of, a movie about that, about uh, some of these men that, you know, were contracted by our government to like use their minds to like go into the files of other countries and look at information and stuff. The book is great if you want to read that, um, but also this movie, if you just want to get the gist of it, this movie is pretty good. It's called Men Who Stare at Goats and um, I really enjoyed it. And like I said, I don't enjoy a lot of movies these days, uh, but that one I thought was really good and funny. It's very funny. Be aware of that. There's like this it, this underlying sense of like sarcasm and humor that runs through it. The topic is real and serious, but the way that they present it is very comical, but not stupid comical. Anyways, trust me, it's good. Books. Now, I have been on a mission to read 100 books in 2021. Uh, nope, that's a lie. 100 books in 2022. And I'm not going to share every single book I read. I'm just going to pick a couple of my favorites from the month and share those with you guys. So um, from the books that I read this month, I read 10 books this month. Again, I have some physical books um, and then others I listen to on Audible. So don't let anybody make you feel bad about that. Plus, it's really great if you're a mom. Oh, oh, you ever sit wrong and the seam of your pants like, whoa grabs things that it's not supposed to. Yowzas! It's really great, especially if you are a, a busy mom and you're trying to do laundry and clean the kitchen and stuff. If you find a really good book to listen to, you can get in the zone with your cleaning and other tasks like while you're listening to this book. That's kind of my favorite way um, is if I'm going to be in the car or if I'm trying to do a task that I know is really boring and my brain is going to be like, let's leave and go do something fun. <laughs> um, instead, I distract my brain with a book while my hands do the boring things that need to be done. So my three book picks that I just felt like were worth sharing with you guys. Uh, the first one is called um, Killers of the Flower Moon. So the way that they describe the book, it just, I don't know, it wasn't exactly what I thought it was gonna be, but really, really good. So this is in the 1920s. It talks about the richest people per capita in the world were members of the Osage Indian Nation in Oklahoma. After oil was discovered beneath their land, they rode in chauffeured, chauffeured automobiles, built mansions, and sent their children to study in Europe. Then, one by one, the Osage began to be killed off. The family of an Osage woman, Molly Burkhart, became a prime target. Her relatives were shot and poisoned, and it was just the beginning as more and more members of the tribe began to die under mysterious circumstances. Uh, but it's talking about this tribe that was sort of paid off by the government um, for the oil that was on their land, and you know they were they were rich, 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 the richest people per capita in the world. And they were slowly being picked off by people who were wanting their money. It's really, it's a true story, obviously. I read nonfiction, purely nonfiction. So it's obviously a true story. And I had no idea about this in history. So very fascinating, very interesting. I really enjoyed, um, enjoyed that book. The other book that I read this month was called The Hidden Nazi. Now, there's multiple authors of this book, but I had listened to an interview with one of them and uh, was really intrigued by what he was explaining. And I love, I, I, I've read a lot of World War II books. I'm basically like your grandfather and I like to talk about World War II and read books about it. He's the worst Nazi war criminal you've ever heard of, sidekick to SS Chief Heinrich Himmler and supervisor of Nazi rocket scientist Werner von Braun. General Hans Kammler was responsible 
responsible for the construction of Hitler's slave labor sites and concentration camps. So it's this it's it's the story about this man and how little he's discussed throughout history um, and our current like red history about World War II, how little he's discussed, but what an important role he played um, as the chief designer of the concentration camps and slave labor camps. Uh, he goes, the author goes and visits with his son and talks to him about his dad and what that was, you know, his childhood and all that. It's it's very, very, very good. It was a very interesting book. It was a very interesting book. And he did a really good job. Um, I, I stayed interested in it the whole time. It didn't get boring. Sometimes history books can get a little like droll and like, blah, but this one was fantastic. Okay, the last book um, is this one called The Art of Nonconformity. I loved this book. I loved this book so much. This is a very like easy, quick read kind of book. It's a lot of the things that he talks about in this book, not all, but a lot of the things that he talks about in this book very much describe um, my views of the world and uh, the ways that we move through the world, the expectations that we put on ourselves and others for, like I discuss in my own book, the, the checklist life and the ways that we expect people to just fall in line and do the thing. And as soon as you don't conform and do the thing, people start questioning you. And um, that there's uh, so many different ways to live and exist in this world and get from birth to death. And, um, you know, I, I, it's just, it was a very encouraging book to me and something that, you know, I definitely took a lot from and uh, will be highlighting going, I like to read something and then go back through and do all of my like highlighting and note taking and revisiting certain things. So I really enjoyed that book as well. Um, also, if you want to join me in reading, a bunch of books this year or if you just want to track the books that either you're reading personally or the books that you're reading with your kids I did make a free printable uh, that you can write the titles of the books that you've read or that you've read maybe aloud to your kids or whatever um, just as a fun way to track that or I know some of y'all have tagged me on Instagram because you printed them and your kids are using them to track books that they're reading this year so um, I will leave the information down below um, where you guys can get that free printable and you can print it out or laminate it or frame it if you want to hang it up in your like little school area or something it's just a cute little uh book tracking type thing all right that's it for me i have lots of fun videos coming up like i said we're gonna do the laundry room the girls room i'm gonna share some cleaning hacks and stuff with you guys uh just lots of good stuff coming up so that's it for me today i hope that y'all are having a fantastic day and i will see you again very soon City 